Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hope you're enjoying the by subscribing down below. Be sure to click the notification bell so that I miss any of my upcoming videos. this is a puppy haul um people usually wait to do like a puppy haul after like not after but before they have to get their puppy but um i actually waited to do it after which i'm kind of glad because i'm kind of trial and error with a bunch of things and so i kind of feel for like the products that i do like and i don't like and store shopping and stuff like that so um a lot of money has been saved definitely so if you're interested in getting to this puppy haul, i'll see you when i got my little buddy ace um let's get right to the video so honestly I was gonna have him with me in the video, have a cute little setup, but old buddy was not fooling me today. He's chilling sleep. We did have a little outside time earlier, so it won't be much hearing him sing. I might pick him up towards the end or something, but he's in his own world. So, um, y'all already know notes, iPad here with notes. Um, I'll also be inserting, I wanna see if I can scoot over as much as possible because I will be inserting pictures here um, of like the site or possibly where I got it or what it is with the price and everything on it. Um, so yeah, so for starters, I'm not gonna start I'm section it out into like two things because with it being a puppy haul, you get a lot of things for a dog. I don't think I realized that. Which I knew he needed stuff, but I didn't think I realized like how much stuff like. But yeah, so we're gonna separate into necessities and then other stuff. The boy is full, so it's gonna be a bunch of other stuff, right? So for necessities, mainly things I actually got before I purchased him. First thing is going to be a dog crate, okay? So for those who do not watch my um, I Got A Puppy vlog or like my introduction, like introducing him to y'all, um, Ace is a Marky. He's a Maltese Yorkie mix. When I got him, he was eight weeks old. How old is he now? He's 14 weeks. Yeah, he's 14 weeks old now. So literally when I got him, he was like, I want to see if I can insert a picture, but he was very much like palm size. So everything um, for him while I was getting then, I knew he wasn't going to fit. He was going to have to grow into it. But also both the breeds that he's mixed with, Maltese and a Yorkie, they're both, pr they're both pretty small animals. Most of everything I got him was either small or extra small. Um, some things that I purchased as an extra small, like clothing wise and stuff like that. I expect for him to possibly grow out of it, but I mean, they're still too big now, so I don't know. So I said that to say, um, the puppy crate, actually the dog crate, I got in an extra small. Um, I purchased that from Petco. When I realized when I was in the midst of like shopping for him, Honestly, I want I wanted to stick to one store like oh I either want to use Petco or I want to use PetSmart or I want to use Target. But honestly, all those places are gonna sell the same thing. They're all gonna be different prices. So what I was able to do was um, I found like sales basically. Like at the time I was getting ready to purchase like his um, his dog crate, um, which goes back into like the next step on was his dog bed. I was able to buy that his dog bed and um, a crate cover which actually ended up returning because he didn't like it i was able to buy all those together and like got a good deal on everything like, i want to say i might have spent i might have i know for a fact i spent less than 30 dollars total and that was on three things you can honestly spend 30 dollars on a crate from like walmart or target and possibly even your local pet store so really shopping online was pretty helpful because you're able to find good deals so basically the dog bed is specifically made to go in his crate i just want his crate to be comfortable y'all know crates i mean they're not the cutest they're not the most comfortable so i just wanted to want it for him the time he is in it that he's at least comfortable but the next thing i got him was a dog collar which is actually on him right now he's so cute so on the dog collar um you know it's just a plain black collar literally the purpose of that collar is just for him to have his his identification tag and his rabies tag that's it like i'm not one of those people i don't really like the um the leashes on the collar he's already small and so i just don't really like that next i purchased him was a harness um it's so crazy like a bunch of stuff i'm talking about right now i can't pick up so i'm just talking um but yeah so the harness is also just a black string it was not string but it's just like black here's a picture right here um and it was just something simple like these things i actually like the collar and the harness i actually purchased like that day after i got him because i didn't know it was going to fit him i didn't know how small he was going to be i was told he was going to be 12 weeks he ended up being eight so i'm kind of glad i didn't purchase a lot of stuff because he definitely would not be able to fit anything i would have bought now we'll say um just so i'll let you know i don't know if I'm pretty sure y'all might be able to tell in the screenshots where I purchased it from, but the crate and the bed came from Petco. The collar and the harness came from PetSmart. Now y'all also know I'm 
I love Amazon. I love shopping online, okay? When you live in a city that doesn't have that much shopping and it's a little overpriced, you just shop online. So that's what I do. Um, I purchased his double bowl carry, which I thought was pretty convenient. And my main thing I love about it, y'all, first of all, it comes with like these little pads on the bottom of it. So like if I put it on my cardboard floors and when it slide around, but it's also spill proof. It like sits, which I mean you'll see a picture, but it sits like in this, um, like on a stand. And so say when he be splashing his water or making him his eating, instead of he going on the ground, it just kind of goes in the crevices of it. I mean, he eats it, so it doesn't like make a mess on your your floor. And I also got that from Amazon. Now another thing I got from Amazon is um, a sealed, they call it like, the thing is called like Vittles Vaults. It's like basically something sealed to put his food in. So um, I guess I should have started with, my breeder was clutch, okay? My breeder was clutch. I got um, a lot of stuff from my breeder. I actually have that sitting here. Came, she bring me like a bag full of pee pee pads. Um, I haven't used these yet because I had bought some. So pee pee pads. Gave me this harness. The only thing is, I'm like, girl, you knew how small this dog was when you gave me to when you gave him to me. This harness is probably not gonna fit him until he like one or two years old. I'm gonna be honest. Um, it came with two sets of doggy bags using the other set. Um, it came with like toys, a leash, which is actually why I got my first leash. Um, which is wasn't a retractable leash. It's just like a regular. Where do I have it? I don't. He sees me mess with his carrier bag. He thinks we're about to go. You can go lay down. <laughs> but that's where I got my first list. It was just a plain black, um, just regular. I think it might have been like less than 10 foot um, leash. What else did she put in that bag? It was a lot of stuff in the bag. So honestly, some things I didn't have to worry about purchasing. Food, that's where I was going. She gave me a box of the food that he had started eating. It was about, um, it was a small box. So it lasts about two and a half weeks. And so once I talked to the vendor, like, yes, this is good food, keep him on it. Y'all, I found a 16 pound bag on Solid Publix. If you watch that vlog, you already know what I'm talking about. And so I was like, this is a lot of food and I don't want it, you know, just sitting out because I've heard of like, you know, you have just bugs and stuff that might gravitate towards food and we don't do that. So I just found this vacuum sealed um, vault from Amazon and it works like amazing, like twist the top, it even comes with like a little scooper thing. Yeah, I think it holds up to like 25 pounds of food, but they have different ones. Um, but I feel like the 25 pound was the smallest one they had. So that's what I ended up getting. Um, it works perfect. He knows when I'm going towards that, he getting food. And like, this is really easy to store. It's just right under my bed. So that was like, I highly recommend you purchase it. Now another thing I also bought from Amazon um, that I consider essential. It's like a little drummer skit. Um, I realized the brand Rough and Roughest. If it'll focus. Oh, come on. But the brand Ruffin' Ruffin', I realize it's very known on, um, this is what the bag looks like. It's got like instructions and stuff like that. But it's very, but it's very like known and like Holly talks about on Amazon. Um, obviously we actually have another item from Ruffin' Ruffin'. So literally in this was his grooming kit. Um, this is just like instructions and stuff. But it comes with, a um a brush because he has a very long coat and i realized after going on um, going to his first groom they're like yeah you really need to brush him every day i'm like okay well, i need to just get some you know reliable things because i will say this wasn't my first choice um first i just got like a little comb uh, cause i'm not even metal comb for him but i didn't know like it wasn't this type of metal comb so it really wasn't doing much but i also need a brush so i have this paddle brush um the main thing i really love about this first of all it's very comfortable because we can be sitting there for hours with him just because I try not to make it a, a like scary type of situation. Like, okay, he wants to play, he wants to look around. Okay, cool, yeah, we can do that. Oh, uh, you know, brush, brush. Okay, you want to do something? Okay, we can do that as long as I, you know, finish brushing him. But main thing I really like about this is this button here. So y'all see the bristles? You click it, the bristles go away, and it makes it super easy to get the hairs. Like, I really wish our like human brushes would do that because it just makes it so easy to just clean it. Next thing that comes in is obviously a metal brush. Y'all know my favorite color is teal and turquoise blue. That's about he his favorite color too. <laughs> so everything I'm gonna be getting him be blue. But I mean he's a boy. There's not many colors you get boy. But um this is the metal comb. It works. It's amazing. I tried to get the stuff that I saw the groomers use. Like she had like this. I want to say this is the exact comb, but it literally looks just like this. And then it also comes with nail 
clippers um, that are like the scissor type form and it comes with the guard on the back like so so yeah um, I've clipped this nose with this we don't really get far like I said I don't be trying to make the experiences when it comes to his grooming and stuff like really like scary or nothing so when he be like I'm done I'll say yeah we done and that's just that on it so, first thing we're gonna talk about is this fleet and tick collar um I the vet that we use the animal um not the vet but like the animal hospital they have like a plan where you're like oh you can pay for like his flea and tick um like medicine and stuff I'm like this how much it was it was kind of like it was just worth buying this this I want to say this was regular 80 bucks y'all know I'm quick to find a coupon found a coupon for Petco it was like 15 I think it was like 25% off your first online order if you pick it up and then it was already on sale so yeah i want to pay i paid like 44 dollars for this um yeah so it's for small dogs it's like it kills and repels fleas and ticks it's odorless it's greaseless um it's literally like a collar i don't know if it'll show up so this light being so bright but yeah it's literally like just a collar that he wears um he i don't even know if he knows he wears it it doesn't bother him much then lastly Finally got the shampoo I wanted to use. Um, if y'all watched my video when we gave him his first bath, I had literally been looking for this shampoo. It's the Burt's Bee um, Oats Shampoo, Oatmeal Shampoo. I had literally been looking for it for weeks. And my thing was, he's starting to smell more and more like pee with his long hair. I'm like, look, dude, we just got to wash you today. And I was ordered online. Whenever it gets here, it gets here. But I got to wash you today. And so that's why I used the hearts. Um, I know I received some comments about like heart spray not being so well. Um, my boyfriend uses hearts i just used it because i needed something to wash in that day but this is what we use to wash my little buddy and this is also what his bed um, recommended as well so that's really why does he keep doing that so that's really why um i was very adamant about getting it so honestly like that was it for like the what i consider necessities um for him, at least. Necessities for him. And now we're just going to get into like the other stuff that I purchased. Because, you know, when a puppy always just got to get, yeah, get stuff for him. Like, he's your baby. You just got to get stuff for him. So, first thing is the Kong. Y'all, it's kind of crazy I put this on this list. I don't know where the Kong at. Wow. Basically, I purchased a Kong and, like, the peanut butter stuff to go inside of it um, from Petco. Keep on. And like he really loved it. I don't try to figure out why did I take it away from him. I have no clue. I don't even know where they're calling at right now. Yeah, but I did buy him a call. That's so crazy. I have no clue where it's at. <laughs> and the second thing, this is for him, but it was also for me because I'm like, I want to take my puppy everywhere. Like with him being a small dog, people really don't be saying nothing to me about bringing him places, especially when I have him in my handy dandy carrier. Which I also received from Amazon. Picture will still be here. Um, I really love this carrier. I will say I did purchase a carrier before this from um, PetSmart. Which I only got it because it was the very, very first day I was getting him. And my family was like, you're going to be driving back to Troy. You need to put him in a bag or something. I'm like, okay. Got this ugly $20 bag. I put the picture here. He hated it. He did not like going in it. He literally whined every time he was in it. This bag, like literally, y'all should see him right now. He's ready to go. He loves getting in this bag. Um, but just to show you all the bags. So they have a big zipper here, which is where he goes in, right? And it's like he has this like little plush thing. He be chilling in here. It's real comfortable. Well, I mean, I wouldn't know, but I'm, I'm assuming it's real comfortable. And then on this side here, you have a little slit where he's able to peep his little head. He's so small, his body be coming out of this. So we're not even going to talk about that. And then you have like a little slit here, like when I'm on about, I usually might have my wallet or my phone in here right now. We got one of his bones. Poo poo, we're not going nowhere. We're not going nowhere. I'm just talking to the people. I promise we're not going nowhere. We'll go outside in a little bit. I'm trying to be nice to you. Why are you barking at me? See, I'm glad I kept this on camera because he be acting up. See, it's really because I'm holding this bag. Because you was not stunning me until I picked up this bag. Y'all, he's been over here playing this whole time since I've been talking. Because I realized I woke him up. We're not going nowhere. Chill out. So then on this side here, you have like a little... Boy, stop it. Chill. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Like I was saying, 
thought I was really interrupted by a little dude. There's a slit here. Um, if he was a little bigger, he's able to put his head out of here. He just, he too bad for that because he will not, he won't stand there. And then there's also like this right here. And what's a few things I really love about this carrier is, first of all, I call it puppy proof. Or maybe dumb puppy parent proof. I don't know. Because in my last bag, I was trying to figure out how he kept getting out. His little butt would scratch the zippers apart and he would be able to open it. Well, this has like this clip here where it clips them together and he can't do that. Also, you know, you can hold it here or it also has like a long handle. And my favorite feature about it is because like, honestly, I thought I was going to just buy it. But it's a two-in-one. It's a carry bag and it's also chill. Oh, I'm gonna put this bag down. But he's also like a car seat. Here um, on the back, there's two buckles. And what you can do is you put your car seat, not the car seat, you put the seat belt through it and it literally like secures him to the seat so he, like, he doesn't um, slide or anything. And so that's why I love I need to put it down because he's he getting a little buckle out over there. I wish y'all could see him. I'm not studying. Next <laughs> to the next thing will be his um, retractable leash. I, I literally just got this um, after he got his rabies shot because like before that I mean, he wasn't outside. But now I'm like, he needs to be outside playing with other dogs, enjoying doggy life, you know? And this one is 16 feet, 16 feet, yes. Also got this on sale. Now for any of my pet owners, future pet owners, I'm not sure about Petco. But PetSmart matches their website. Okay, I know I usually hate to be that person in line and hold up the line because I want to. I want something cheaper. But y'all know stuff is expensive, honestly, for pets. Let me just open this door so he can just roam around because he's killing me. Like I was saying. So if you hear the noise, that's his little butt. Like I was saying, um, you know, things are expensive. So PetSmart matches their website, and so like I want to say it might have been regular like 24, 26, 36 something. Um, but at the time, stop it. At the time, I want to say it was $16 on the website. And then they had actually sent me like a one-time, um, a one-time coupon. And so since it wasn't on sale in store, just price matching, they let me use the coupon. I want to say I might have paid like, like less than 10 bucks, maybe 10 bucks. Yeah. It was cheap, but it's not cheap by itself because the brand is um, Flexi. Now, one thing I will recommend, always check websites, um, not just PetSmart's website, when you're looking at reviews for items because I will look at tons of reviews of items while I'm standing there in the store before I purchase it. And when I say not just PetSmart, because the thing is, PetSmart's not the only place that sells it. So just see what other people that have purchased it in general think about the brand and go from there. Um, I particularly like it. Um, my thing was, I wanted the entire thing to be like this type of string. They have a few where it's like a cord for like about probably this length here. And then it goes into the string. I don't really understand that. I don't like the way it looks. I just stayed away from it. Um, and then of course with it being so long, you have like that lock, locking feature there as well. He just sitting here looking at me. Now you want to come up here with me? Come on. Since technically it's a video about you. Say hi. Say I thought we were going somewhere. You thought we were going somewhere? Okay, just sit here and chill. So next thing um, that I was, it's not really necessary just because he's spoiled. I got him a bed. Here's like a picture of it um, and probably a video of it in his playpen that my grandma got him. Might as well go right to that. So the comfy bed, I just felt like, you know, I didn't want him to always be in his crate. And I say that because when I'm going from class, if my roommate's not here, he goes in his crate. And throughout the day, like, I'll just leave his crate door open. He just goes in there and chills, which is fine. I just, I don't know. I just want him to have somewhere else to kind of chill out besides just his crate. So I purchased, like, this big comfy bed. Like, if I was a dog, I would lay in it too. And I got it from Ross. Now, that's one thing. I did not think, look at Ross for some things. Because they have some, they have some nice stuff in Ross and TJ Maxx for, like, pets and stuff. Um, it was, like, 10 bucks. And it's big. So I have that. Honestly, I bought it for his bed for my room. Just for him to have somewhere in the room in the corner chill out lay down and then my grandma actually ended up purchasing him a playpen which is also from amazon one i actually had in my cart for quite some time um which is also that's other objects that's by rough and rufus rough and rufus they have rough and rufus they have a lot of good products um i think it's a really good brand i personally plan on reaching out to them maybe because i think it would be a great collab to work with them just because they have a lot of puppy stuff you know what i'm saying so um yeah this is probably just a video of the 
playpen and the bed like it fits perfectly now I will say the playpen size is a I believe it's a large I'm pretty sure she bought the large um I low-key I was almost like oh you just need to get the small he's a small dog but I'm glad she bought the large because it gives him room to, like he literally be in there running that circle so it really does give him room there to play around and with his toys and stuff now two things that were necessities three things they're necessities but more so for me okay now you know I um I like my room to smell good you see I got my candle going I just I like my room to smell good I like good scents and these three things right here have been keeping me at peace my room in peace it's just it's good for it's good for the brain this right here for well look for breeze okay these are two items now one is Febreze fabric and the other is Febreze air. Now I made sure that they were like um, pet odor eliminators because the other Febreze, like not the other Febreze, but their regular Febreze, like yeah, it smells good, but it's kind of just like the smell good scent on top of the pet odor instead of like you don't smell any pet odor, you just kind of smell like freshness, you know what I'm saying? I love these two. Um, bought two of these. I probably should have bought another one of these, but I don't, I mean, I use it once a week. Mm -hmm. Not a big deal. Now this stuff, y'all, yeah, it's almost empty. Yeah, I have another box, um, another bottle already. But this is Out Pet Care. It's Advanced Stain and Odor Remover. Just because he's a puppy, um, we're working on potty training. He's gotten much, much better. Um, but it's also, I know it's also a little bit on me. Just knowing I need to take him out at least once every one to two hours because his little bladder is so small. He can't help it. Right? I know. It's okay. You can't help it. I understand. But sometimes you just gotta let me know. You need, you need what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. Those are two necessities for me. Um, And lastly, I mean, I recently... Oh, wait. I'm bad. I almost forgot. I'm trying to see my mom. Now... Lastly, my grandma, well not lastly, but my grandmother also bought um, a bag of toys from Amazon, which I probably want to look back on Amazon um, for some more toys for him, because this was a really smart idea, like, okay, there's only two, two toys in this bag, but I want, I promise you, can like, look like 10, there, he'd be playing with them all, but, um, I feel like it was a pretty affordable price for just, like, this many toys, um, now, yeah, when it came to toys and treats, just local i really do use local um pet stores or like a walmart my mom had purchased some trees i don't know where she purchased some trees from but she he loved those trees so bad so good that like one day i just chose to like leave him out in my room this boy chewed through the bag if i can find the picture i'm gonna, show, I'm gonna put the picture on the screen he chewed through the bag to get to the trees and he ate like on the trees with like three different meat flavors he ate like over half of them and so honestly, I mean, it really wasn't bad for those who just just calm down because I feel like some people like, oh my god, he got into the trees, he ate them all. Calm down, calm down. They are trees, but they're also like um, food replacements. So like, say on the road, forgot to get bring his food, I can give him one of those, and because it had like the protein and stuff in it. But I'm just like, dude. So yeah, those trees are gone. <laughs> I almost wanted to tell her to get some more, but I don't know. I think figure out where she got them from. But um. This is lastly, I did just purchase him a new harness just because since he's here now, I can kind of show y'all. So this is the harness he has on now. You kind of see it in the back a little bit, but my thing is his neck. So this harness goes over his head um, and I just feel like he has a lot going on on his neck. I wonder if y'all can see this. Let me see. He has so much hair, dude. Dude, you got so much hair, dude. So yeah. My biggest concern is just his neck. So you can see here, there's his harness here, his collar, and then the flea and tick collar, right? Flea and tick collar was there at all times, and so were his regular collar. And I just kind of feel like he has just a lot going on around his neck. And I found, I just know me personally, I wouldn't have been, I would not be comfortable. So like this new harness is supposed to kind of, you know, he steps in it, and it's just really just gonna protect his chest and you know have me have a um, a leash on his back area for that sense just like this but it's just not gonna be around his neck so that's that um honestly that's really it for my puppy haul all right y'all so this is the end of um my puppy haul of course i'm pretty sure this little this little rascal this little nugget is gonna get more stuff but these are things that i personally feel like are essential um especially as a first time dog mom like of course i was constantly asking my friends and brace like what else should i get what, should I, what else should i get honestly 
this right here is really like the minimum honestly like this is where you're like okay we're set everything else is really just extra not really a necessity right it's not really a necessity <laughs> So I really do hope you guys enjoyed this puppy haul. Um, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Ace loves you. I love you. We appreciate your support. And we'll see you in my next video. If you want to do it with me, come on.